The last challenge is to look at the variable fillet option in Onshape. What we're going to have a go at is creating something similar to this in the top left hand corner. So what we've got on the screen here are different tabs. You can see here this tab at the bottom has got an overview of the different activities and we've got links to the YouTube. Okay, clips. If we click on this one, we've got a cuboid that's been extruded where we're going to apply this variable filler. And we've got this reference model here as well. So what I've done is I've added a fillet and I've varied the size of that as we go along the edges here. If we look at this tutorial and we come into fillet and we select the edges we want to fillet, so say this one here, we can add a standard fillet as you can see. If we click this option variable fillet, what will appear along that edge I've selected will be two black dots. If I click on this first dot, this option will appear here, and I could type in a size, say, 15. If I click on this second dot, okay, or vertex, it will give me another option of adding, okay, a different sized uh, radius, as you can see. So what we've got here is it's starting off at this point at 25 and going down to 15. Now, in some of the CAD packages, I could just select a point here now and click and then it will appear and, can, and I'll be able to control that. But in okay, on shape, I do not have that control. So if I just come out of that, what I've done here is I've created a sketch on this top plane or surface, and I've added a, a number of different okay, points using the point tool, and I've dimensioned them from different edges as well. So now if I've got that turned on, I've got these extra points that I can select. So this time when I click on fillet and I select the edge, okay, and click variable fillet, I've now got these additional points here. So what I can do now is I could click on each one of these points and add a certain radius, but what I find it's actually easier to select the points first, okay, on there so they appear here. And then when I click on each one, it will be highlighted and I can type in a certain size. Just click enter to confirm that. So you can see that, okay, uh, radius has been applied there. And I can type in here for the second one. And you can see it change, okay, as I go along and add that. If I now try to add one on this point, okay, it will come up with an error because what I've not done at the top here is selected that edge as well. So then now when I come into here, I kind of go down, let's expand these. Okay, see that one's highlighted now. I can now change that and click and that will update as you can see. And then I can select the next one there and I can type in a different size there. And again, I've got this end one because that's where it ends on the point and I can click one there as well. And I could continue selecting additional edges. Okay, turn that around. And I can start adding extra points as we go along and update that. What you might find easier to do is say do certain sections in one go. So you might do say one side there, save that feature, go back into fill it, and then add a fill onto these other edges as you go around. Okay. So that is one technique that you can use to add extra control points on a, you know, a design to add variable fillets. And if you go around all of that, you can then, okay, create something a little bit similar to this. And then what you could do then, for example, is apply a shell on the bottom, as I've done there, and you can shell that out. And as you can see, the shell then takes, okay, into consideration that curvature and shells out that design. So you can create a very complex looking sort of mold or casing or something like that by just applying some variable fillets. Thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.